Okay, welcome back. Now let's talk about acoustic drums and how they work. Now, if you haven't watched the last video, what I did was I went to my plugins here. I dragged an SSD sample five, which is my fate. Well, my favorite drum plugin and my only drum plugin, so I don't really have any picks. And now the way they work is see, in this MIDI window here. You have sounds uh, just corresponding to the keys, and the way you use sounds is you just find the sound you want. For example, I know that the kick will always, well, like 99% of the time, the drum kicks will be on will be on C and the snare will be on D. And um, that's pretty much it, really. And you, you're going to have toms, and then your hat sounds, rides. That's pretty much it, really. That's You may not have these sounds, but you'll always have kicks, snare, toms, cymbals, right? That's 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 all that's simple. There's not much I can tell you. So, uh, let's, now what I did for the song was I added some acoustic drums for the chorus, so it made the sound wider because the cymbals, right? I added cymbals and stuff, and it added a new layer. So let me let's listen to what acoustic drums I programmed. Okay. So it's just let me see what I've done. So, okay, that's all I've done, right? So let's program exactly that. So that's it. So well, it's a bit slow. Now we could reprogram it, or I'm gonna show you a shortcut. If you select it all where it says this is uh, divided by two, right? Click it. It will be twice as short. And now, here's the thing. If you select it from here, it will make this shorter, right? So one take this blank. So if you make it shorter, it, will, it won't sync up. I can't hear it. Wait, let me just turn these off. <coughs> yeah. It won't work because again, as I said, we selected the amp we haven't selected blank space, right? So let's select that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, make it short. Let's listen to it. It's still a bit too long. Let's make it twice. There we go. Works. And I know that we added some symbols, so let me find an open. Trashy hat. I'm just gonna leave it in. Whatever. Okay. That's it, really. Let's set it to loop. Get the belt shorter. Now it sounds good, right? But I think it sounds a bit thin. Now, here comes our help and an amazing. Uh, not plug in an audio effect called drum bus. So it, it should be on drum bus here, audio effects, drum bus. Can you see it? I think you can. Drag a drum bus here. So this would drum bus off. Let's put on. Now, I know the settings are like is medium and crunch to around 20%. Oh yeah. There we go. And now I want the hats to sound a bit more, more, more hats. So the way I do it, do it with is if I play transients here, right? So let me turn the transients down. If I turn it down, slight bit. There we go. So now let's um, preview what we've done with drums so far. Sounds good to me. Now, let's program the drums for the verse, which sounds something like this. Now, 
know, it's just, it sounds more like an EDM kind of build-up, right? Well, yeah. So, that's, that's my song. I can do whatever I want. But before that, um, in the original song, I don't have any drums here except the acoustic drums. And the acoustic drums go like this. So I'll show you how to do And this, uh, th these drums sync with the guitar. Da, da, remember? Let me play those drums with the uh, synth. Right. So let's program these exact drums, which uh, let me see. Okay. I just sing it and then that's how I do it. That's my way. So this is the acoustic drums. Um, kick is I know C one. And then I think the symbols are. How do I get? Oh, and I'm soloing here, by the way, to just. Okay. So, I know. Let's let's find a trash we had. I know it's in. Uh, there we go. T t t. There we go. Simple. Oh, let's set it to loop. I can't long. Now we had we now we had the good drums. Now we can delete this because I don't I don't no longer need for reference and control us save it. Okay. 